Today, News Center's Vivian Lee is here to explain how teaching children early about ticks could help prevent potential exposure to their illnesses. Viv? That's right, Amanda. Now, health profession students from the University of New England have been going into classrooms and teaching students how to spot a deer tick and what to do if they find one on their body. They're teaching a lasting, lasting habit of a really safe routine that's resonating only, not only for students, but with their family members as well. What kid doesn't love spending time outdoors? In many parts of our state, it's a way of life. Those rural kids are out hunting, you know, four-wheeling, hiking. Giving kids the tools to protect themselves against ticks is so important right now. The parasites are on the move into western and northern Maine for the first time. Families in remote areas are also being greatly impacted by tick-borne disease. More and more kiddos are knowing that someone in their family, their friend or their neighborhood had Lyme disease. And so that's really heightened their risk. Jennifer Gunderman is the director of the Maine Area Health Education Center, known as AHEC, at the University of New England. Health profession students in the Care for the Underserved Pathway AHEC Scholar Honors Distinction Program work with people in need in rural communities. As part of the two-year rural immersion program, students go into schools teaching about oral health, brain science, and tick intervention and prevention, while on hold until next spring due to the pandemic. When these UNE students return, they will be using new lesson plans and videos. And find tip tweezers at the head of the tick. UNE hired Adina Berkowitz to put together a curriculum for elementary age students. Berkowitz founded Lime TV, a nonprofit. I've got 99 problems, but a tick ain't one. That works to educate the public about Lyme disease and other tick-borne illnesses. A lot of these diseases can be deadly. Adina was diagnosed with late-stage neurological Lyme and other co-infections, which led to brain damage and other secondary diseases. Rural Maine communities may not be fully prepared or know all the risks about tick diseases. The program will use Lyme TV's coloring books and activity sheets to teach kids how to spot a deer tick, the diseases they transmit, the importance of wearing protective clothing, and how to do a tick check. So far, kids are bringing their new habits home. They really take to messages of like wearing your socks over your pants mm -hmm. and what's the right way and the wrong way to remove a tick because we all know that kids love to tell their parents when they're doing something wrong. Creating important safety routines at a young age that could eventually help prevent cases of Lyme and tick-borne co-infections. As for Adina, a mother of a young boy, she would like to see tick education and prevention taught in schools everywhere one day. Just like washing hands or, or sex ed or any other health education course. It should be standard in schools because ticks are a public health issue. Now when this rural immersion program resumes, hopefully next spring, the hope is to reach several hundred students in western, northern, and eastern Maine. Now we'll have a lot more information about UNE's AHEC program and Lime TV, the nonprofit that's doing a lot of good work on our website and social media app. Back to you guys. All right, Viv, thanks. And if you want to see all of the latest information on ticks and the diseases they carry, pick up your cell phone and text the word ticks to 828-6622. We'll text you back a link to our tick web page. You can also go to our website, newcentermain.com, and click on the words tracking ticks near the top of our home page.